To me, art is such a major part of my life that everything I do is, I'm surrounded by art, uh, from designing my own logos to designing my own stationery, uh, really being very integral in the design of my websites. Uh, all the artwork in my building is, is done by me, the signage. The, even working with the architect in terms of design of the building, every little part of my life is about design and art. What brought this to mind, and I think I've done a podcast similar to this, is I was uh, posting on my social media, my private social media, uh, a portrait I was doing, an oil painting of my wife, and I looked at it and it just wasn't quite right, and uh, I made some adjustments to the face. I showed it before and after, so to speak, and my friend said, oh, this is like you're doing surgery. In a way, it is sort of similar because you have to have a good eye you know, when I'm drawing forms and painting tones and shape, you have to have a good aesthetic eye. It's not just having the right eye for technical precision where the tones work and everything else works uh, and the right shading is correct, but it's just attractive. Theme is right, it's creative. It looks good. It looks representational of the person you're trying to, to represent. And I think uh, oil portraits for me were just portraiture. I've done it in watercolors, acrylics, I've done it in oil paints, I've done it in uh, pastels, I've done it in charcoal, graphite, ink, ink and wash. I've done portraits in all media, and I guess there's a fascination I have with a face since I'm a facial plastic surgeon. Um, and it's sort of interesting as I do the work, I look at uh, a shape of a face, a tone of a face. I look at something that looks slightly off, like the hairline I designed was slightly off since I did do hair surgery as well. But art is so important when you're talking to um, a physician or a surgeon that you're interviewing or thinking about. It must be an integral part of what he or she stands for. For me, I'm very blunt about things. Uh, I don't mean to be rude or offensive. An example is a, a beautiful lady this morning in her early 40s that I, she was worried I was doing three syringes of fillers on. And I said, you know, this is not going to look fake. It's going to look natural. It's going to look attractive. You really don't uh, need to worry about that. And she goes, well, I'm always worried about over being overfilled. And I said, honestly, your lips are overdone. Uh, the upper lip is too big compared to your bottom lip. There's no shape and the border is too strong. It doesn't match your age bracket. Now, I'm very blunt. I don't mean that to be in a rude way. But the reason I say these things is never to be offensive or to be hurtful. It's to be honest, and, and the reason I'm honest is that I'm an artist and I really, really love beautiful natural work. And I always tell my patients I'm so honored by referrals. The only thing I don't want is someone that uh, looks unnatural, that really wants to look unnatural. That person is not gonna be a good fit for, with me. It's gonna be a, an antagonistic relationship because I'm gonna struggle to try to fix unnaturalness. Um, but it's just something I want to just express to you about who I am as a person, sort of the elements that I, that, that I have in my personal life uh, and why it's important for you as a patient.